Hello everyone. In continuation with the inverse Laplace transform, we'll be dealing today with the integration of transforms. So by the end of the session, you'll be able to state the integration of transforms and you will be able to evaluate the ILT using the integration of transforms. So what exactly the integration of transform means? It is Laplace inverse. If the Laplace inverse of f of s is f of t, then the Laplace inverse of f of s is equals to t into Laplace inverse of integration from s to infinity f of s ds. And we are finding out here the Laplace inverse of uh, the s to infinity integration s to infinity and that is what it is known as the integration of transforms. This is the statement of this transform. Now this statement comes from the effect of division by t for the Laplace transform. So we have seen that uh, Laplace transform of f of t by t is equals to integration from s to infinity f of s t s right now this l will go to the other side of this uh, equality sign but that will not be l that will be l inverse and therefore it is f of t this t will also go to the other side but this will be like t into laplace inverse of s to infinity f of s ds right now this is what we are mean we mean over here but what will be this f of t this f of t is nothing but laplace inverse of f of, f of s and therefore this f of t is laplace inverse of f of s and hence the theorem or you can say the statement of this particular theorem states in this way okay so this is what the prerequisite for this particular session would be this you have to be very much thorough with the effect of division by t of the laplace transforms then it is very very simple for you all to understand the integration of transforms used for this ILT or inverse Laplace transforms. Okay, so the first question goes as the inverse Laplace transform of 2s upon s square plus 1 the whole square. So f of s is 2s upon s square plus 1 the whole square. Now this is f of s. We need to make this as s to infinity f of s ds that means we have to first find out integration from s to infinity of the function f of s so we are doing that here now before going to go for this integration let us understand one formula for this integration what is that it says that integration f of x to the power n into f dash of x dx is equals to f of x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c now here we are not dealing with the plus c part over here so we are just uh, ignoring for a while here but n should not be minus 1 and should not be minus 1 over here so if you we'll observe these two things here what would be my n what would be my n over here so if you we'll observe this is f of x to the power n f dash of x dx so is it possible for me to write down this particular thing particular integral in this fashion so let us do that first so it is nothing but integration from s to infinity. Now if s square plus 1 the square, what is the integration of this s square plus 1? s square plus 1, sorry, the differentiation of s square plus 1 is 2s, which is present in the numerator here, which is present in the numerator. And therefore, this is my f dash of x, that is 2s as f dash of x. And this plus 1 is nothing but f of x. And therefore, we can rewrite this entire thing as s square plus 1, the power minus 2, because we are taking this in the numerator, into 2s, which is the differentiation, that is, which is f dash of x, dx, sorry, ds over here, which is equals to. Now, if you will observe that, this is nothing but we have written this as the f of x to the power minus 2 into this 2s is nothing but f dash of x got it and we can write down this entire thing as in this way that means which is same as f of x to the power to the power n plus 1 what is the value of n here the value of n is equals to minus of 2 which is the value of n is equals to minus of 2 and therefore, it is n plus 1, so minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 plus c. As I have told you, we are not going to go ahead with this for uh, this particular session. And therefore, we have got this. But if I went, if I will write down here, otherwise, 
you can say this as f of x to the power minus 2 plus 1 that is f of x is s square plus 1 the s square plus 1 so s square plus 1 to the power so it is nothing but s square plus 1 let me write down here to the power minus 1 upon this minus 2 plus 1 will give me minus 1 which is same as minus 1 upon s square plus 1 and the limit is from s to infinity because here this is what is given to you as for indefinite but as we are dealing here with the definite integral so it is s to infinity this will also from s to infinity and this will also go from s to infinity right and this is what we have written it here so these are the in between steps and for this we have used this particular formula of the integration very important formula and therefore this is equals to so it's minus 1 upon s square plus 1 the whole the the limit is from s to infinity if i will put the upper limit it will give me zero again you, you have to go ahead and go for the limit that i have already taken it in the previous sessions that you just refer the previous videos minus of minus so because of one minus here plus another minus is for the lower limit it will give me one upon s square plus one which is equals to one upon s square plus one now we will apply this formula here what is this laplace inverse of f of s which is what is this nothing but the laplace inverse of this particular function equals to t into in laplace inverse of this so what is this function now this is nothing but here so this is s to infinity f of s ds that is what we have done it here and therefore t into laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus 1 1 upon s square plus 1 is nothing but this function or this value laplace inverse is given to you as t into sine of t t into sine of t so this is what is very important step to note it down here the integration part is very important the integration part plays very important role in the laplace transform as well as the inverse laplace transform especially for this type of the in, uh, s to infinity and the effect of division by t for the laplace transforms as well okay let us go ahead with one, one more which is almost similar uh, instead of this particular uh, s square plus one the square it is instead of plus one over here it is minus of a square nothing else has been changed over here so s upon a square minus a square the square which is equals to this now we have to do it because my function f of x this is f of x right s square minus a square is f of x i need the differentiation of this f of x is 2s and therefore i have to have this f dash of x coming into the picture i should have this multiply divide by 2 so this is what is the adjustment we have done it over here okay and therefore again using the same formula as previous slide what we have done we'll be going ahead with this so again it is same as 1 upon so it is f of x to the power minus 2 plus 1 upon minus 2 plus 1 which is minus of 1 upon s square minus 1 minus uh, a square again s is from s to infinity and this is half over here which is again will give you plus as per the previous session previous slide you can just check it out this is the formula what we have to use it the value for this is 1 upon 1 by 2 into 1 upon s square minus a square and therefore i need to find out the laplace inverse of this particular function which is nothing but sine hyperbolic a t by a so now here it would go as 1 by a so the answer is t by 2 1 upon a sine hyperbolic a t if i will rewrite this it is t upon 2a sine hyperbolic a t that's all it's very simple examples provided you should have this integration part very clear in your mind of this particular thing okay and this is the self-observation slide three questions along with the three answers here thank you very much Happy learning!